Hi guys, today I want to talk about the mysterious death of Shanquilla Robinson. So, this lady traveled to Cabo, Mexico with her friends for another friend's birthday, but when they got there, a fight broke out in the room. Now, it's unclear what exactly started the fight, but you can see in a video where Shanquilla and another lady were fighting. She hit her so hard, beat her mercilessly, and you could hear some of the friends in the room asking her to fight back. It was like they were enjoying the show, but that fight ended her life. Then they called her mom to tell her that Shanquilla died of alcohol poisoning. They did not mention the fight or that someone beat her badly in the hotel. Her mother did not accept the story, so she demanded for investigation. But of course, the US government claimed that she wasn't murdered maybe she just died but again that was not satisfactory so the mother continued to uh, raise alarm on this until the mexican government decided to look closely into this case and when they conducted an autopsy they discovered something her neck was broken and her spine was severed now, this obviously happened because she was brutally attacked by someone. So now there's a big investigation open in Mexico for her case and authorities have ruled it as a homicide. So that means that somebody is about to go to prison for what happened to this girl. One of Shankila's friends posted the, pic, uh, the video on the internet, which is what led to this outrage. Because now people can see that this girl was actually beaten to death. It, it was a very brutal fight. I cannot post it here because TikTok is going to take down my channel. But if you search her name on Twitter or on Instagram, you're going to see the clip. Currently, it's unclear if any of these guys are going to be arrested or if someone is going to be uh, questioned or detained, whatever be the case. But Shanquilla Robinson was laid to rest and her mom is still hoping for justice for her daughter. It's unfortunate that this beautiful soul lost her life and her friends watched her get beat to death. No one tried to stop. No one tried to intervene. And they didn't, couldn't even tell her mother the truth. And the news report, Fox 8 News, is saying that they've been trying to get a hold of these friends to talk to them. Some of them have changed their numbers. Some of them are blocking their lines from incoming calls. Some of them are pr pretty much just switched off their phones. They don't want to talk to the press. They don't want to talk about what happened. But when you saw them in the video, you could see them laughing and enjoying the fight. But now it's time to speak out for their friends and no one is speaking.